Charlie Upson of the 14th Connecticut was captured in May 1864 and was sent to Andersonville. His mother, Martha, frantically sought information about her son's whereabouts, but couldn't find anything. In September, Charlie was transferred, along with thousands of others, to the new prison in Florence, South Carolina. In 1865, Martha finally learned her son's fate. He survived Andersonville, only to die at Florence in December 1864. Desperate for comfort, Martha wrote Clara Barton at the missing soldier's office and asked that she visit Charlie's grave in Florence since Martha could not travel all the way south from Connecticut. Eagerly I followed you in spirit to Andersonville, and the thought came to me that maybe she will go to Florence too, and perhaps she will stand by my darling's grave. Oh, I couldn't bear that you should stand on that spot and not carry in your heart a message to Charlie from his mother. Miss Barton answered, telling Martha, if ever it be my privilege to visit Florence, I will go alone and search that hallowed grave. But she never went, and all Martha read in Miss Barton's letter was no. No one visited Charlie's grave in 1865. In fact, no one visited his grave at all, because Charlie, like the thousands who died at Florence, has no individual marker. Today, no one decorates his grave on Memorial Day. He lies in a trench with hundreds of his fellow unknown U.S. soldiers. <laughs>